Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. No, we're still back in the greenhouse. Uh, plants are still growing. Uh, no seeds from you lot. And yeah, pumpkins. They're still they're still getting there. We're getting closer. We'll finally, maybe one day get some soybean seeds. Ooh, you've only got two soybeans. Um. Well, if you're too dumb to grow three, then you're fired. Get out. I'm not even going to replant you. You are... You're a stupid plant. Uh, right. Now, last time we got our tank of gas out there to try and collect our nighttime gas to try and get something breathable in here. Because at the moment we do have a oxygen load. Now, I could drop a... um. Oops, not from that one. I could drop... A couple of chunks. Um, there we go, all fixed, and we're good. Um, I've been mining. Yep, certainly have. Uh, right now, this thing here is um, starting to get low in pressure. I can't get 2.37 megapascals out of that. So time to uh, do something about it. Got some bits. So all we've got to do is. Um, create something for it. So now I want a... Did I print out a tank stand? There we go, I did. There it is right there. Uh, so if I put you over there like that... Uh, yoink! I should be able to pull that out and replace that with an air condition uh, uh, filtration system later on. I'll just be able to suck oxygen straight out of the room. Uh, so I shall need... Uh, for now, if I put you um, like that, not that one, uh, or that one, try that one. Uh, you, you ink. Uh, now I want to put you on there. I don't really need it now. I need that for when I've got the uh, air conditioner thingy in there. Uh, I'll need a regulator. You can go into there. And uh, one of them. And a tank connector. Uh, you. That should do us. Um, right. Yeah, that'll do. I can put one of them on it. Uh, I haven't set up yet, so I need to screw you down. Get ourselves some better tanks. So I can put more pressure in there and get a bit more um, pressure in there. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you... And you... You should be on. I can get you to uh, say fifteen thousand. Put you on. You're starting to pressurize. Awesome. Ah, uh, that's better. We want it from there. That'll now fill up my tank. Uh, I currently have uh, a few megapascals. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I'll drain out that one. And I can get rid of this. I can get rid of that one, replace it with an atmospherics kit and just suck the oxygen out of this room because I will be getting plenty of oxygen out there and plugging it back into the room, which is probably the next thing I really want to do. So at the moment, whenever it gets too hot in here, we just suck in gas from outside, which is bringing in a heap of CO2 and... Uh, and pollutant and other things. Uh, now I don't want to do that. I will need to spring in CO2 because the tank I've got out there will eventually only have um, oxygen and nitrogen there. So I'll still have to keep that there for when um, CO2 is required, which will suck in a bit of pollutant, but it'll be hardly any. I think the atmosphere outside is about 3% pollutant or something like that. 
and um, yeah, if I'm only going to bring in like 2% of CO2 in here, so you'll have 3% um, you know, of 2%, so that's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, and it won't matter, so um, um, I won't worry about it. Uh, but I do need to get that one, because I have noticed that, um, if I go to this one here, I did get a suggestion that we can actually leave the plant grow light on a bit longer, which might get us a bit more um, daytime usage. Uh, you, oh shit, you're running. Switch off. I think I've still got the code in here. I do still have the code in there. So instead of waiting until 90 degrees, um, zero is up, 180 is down, 90 is on the horizon. So if I wait till, I don't know, maybe another 10 or 20 degrees, 110 perhaps, it'll stay on for a bit longer and might get a bit more grow time out of it. Um, now I've noticed that this intake it keeps going for a bit too long. So by morning it's warmed up above above freezing and the thing just doesn't switch on because it's um, uh, it fills up with CO2 at the end of the day. So uh, I might also change that one to B so it only comes on at night time a bit further. Uh, so I'll change that one to 100, 110 as well. Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, so if I export you. Now hopefully that vent will only come on during the night time Oxygen low. when it's colder now. Um, and uh, I'll have a better run in that one. But now I need to get the gas out of there into here. Oops, I stepped in the poop. So I need hook that up to our ventilation system. I have ventilation system just there. Uh, or I can bring it up through there. If I don't have ventilation system up there. Yeah. Ah. Uh, got a show for there. Uh, if I just put something, I could put something just on the roof there. That'll do us. If you bring you up there, you can go. Oh, it's a starter base. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, seven megapascals. Good. Um. Now, so I want to get a volume pump and I've got a sensor in here. That should be good enough. I just need a volume pump and some pipes. And yes, I forgot to build the airlock. All right, I forgot to build it. Well, actually, I've got three very good reasons for not building it there. One, well, I forgot. Uh, two, it's a starter base, they don't need to. It doesn't have to be perfect. And thirdly, um, error, pathetic excuse not found. Um, that's why. Uh, but I need a volume pump. Uh, volume pump, and we shall focus on what we are meant to be doing. And I was making some, that has cooled down enough, I can make wasp alloy. Although I still need a bit more pressure in there. But I can make it. Um, while I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Uh, now if you, I could put you there. No, facing inwards and facing upwards. That works. Now I've got enough insulated pipes to get us there. Yeah, that way. Yeah. And 
You. It's minus 37 degrees and you're not switching on. Maybe I need to raise that angle up a bit further. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's because the pressure's... Right. Um, it's because of pressure... I need to um, raise the pressure at which that switches on. That's why it's not switching on. Uh, right, um, so I got you. I need you. I shall need some more pipes. Not those ones. Need some more pipes. Try them and I shall go and raise the pressure at which this tank operates. Um, right, uh, you can go away. You can go into there. You can come down here. And I shall bump that tank up to 15 megapascals. Oop. Uh, export you. Now you're on. Excellent. That should cool the tank down so it'll force out the CO2 that was in there and do a bit better. The main thing is if we start using some of it, it will uh, work a bit better. Because that'll then create pressure in the tank so as that we can uh, reduce pressure in the tank so that we then, ha then have the ability to uh, let more in there. Sweet. Now that should be cooling down in there. Um, fine, drop that. Uh, so, yeah, temperature's dropping now. That should force the CO2 out of it. We are down to 23% CO2, so that is nicely dropping down. And our pressure's actually dropping as well. Oh, nice. And that's coming out the back. We're good. Now if I hook you up. Move up to... There. You can be our gas intake. Um, I need to get rid of some of the crap I'm holding. If I get my new jetpack, I'll be able to hold less, hold more crap or hold less crap. Uh, you doot and doot. Right. And good. Uh, better give a paint. Oh. Um, paint. Not really dirty gas, is it? Probably, probably yellow gas. It's breathing gas. Yeah, it'll do. Uh, right. Probably needs O2. Make uh, those ones yellow again, too. Well, you can never have too much painting, can you? Okay, then. Now, I want to. Let's make some of the wasp alloy. Okay. You ain't, uh, no, still got plenty. No, that's not what I want. Put you in there. You're in there. Now I needed uh, F1. Alloy. Silver, nickel, and lead. Uh, hopefully I was prepared on my last mining mission, and I was. We have a lead. Uh, Nickel. Oh, not enough silver. That's okay. Uh, if I open the right one, I will find silver. Right. We can go into there. Now I've got room to put some stuff out of the way. Well, I'll probably want that to uh, boost the pressure in here. Uh, switch you on. You are good. Um, what did we have in the tank? I've got oxide. Can I chuck oxide in there? That's the wrong one. 
Can't try that one. We are oxidizer rich, so I can chuck oxide in there. That's good. Uh, one last check. We need below 800k, 50 megapascals. We are 720k, temperature's good, 48 uh, megapascals, a bit more pressure. That's all right, we have to melt it down. It was definitely silver, nickel, lead. This is about the only time I make this stuff, so um, who knows. I don't need much of it because I only use it for my jetpack and then never use it again. 45, I can deal with that. Oop. Um, there we go. Nice. I have it. You can. I'll switch on. Ha <laughs> ha. I can get rid of you now. Hopefully, that's not going to burst my pipe uh, tank. Now we're good. We can handle that. You can empty out. And that'll probably be too cold to do much with. Oh no, I can still do some stuff with that. Uh, so if I switch a bit of inwards, that should heat it up and I should be able to go and mine some more stuff that I really don't need. Uh, oh yep, I have got a heap of stuff. Oops. And yep. Oh in there. Right, I'll let that the hatch. Okay, so I went and mined a heap of stuff. I'm so paranoid about getting gold that I just by habit get so much gold that I'm, I've got a lot of it. Uh, right, now we will going to uh, jetpack. That's what we're going to do. Um, make you steel, a stellite, and astraloy. I think is all in here. Light, stellite. And steel. Oh yep, yeah. new backpack. That's the last of our upgrades that we want to see. Uh, how are we doing in there? Oh we still got plenty of heat. I'll have some more then. Not enough for silicon though. I should have put that in first. Well, there you go. You can have one of them. I have some volatiles. I do. You can have one of them. Yummy, yummy. And... <laughs> oh, the heavy mighty drill is so good. And... Ah, tons of tons of temperature in there still. We're good. Ah, uh, now you. Air tank low. Air tank is running low. Yeah, you're good. Uh, whoops. Ew, can't wear that one. Oops, wrong one. There we go. You. There we go. Now I can wear it. And uh, you. Jetpack critical. You. You. You, you, and you. We're all good. Yeah. Uh, you, my spare space suit, I should probably put inside the recovery room there, so if I die, I can make it come back. And that's about all we want out of you now.
Oh, I can probably switch you off and uh, be done with you. Now, uh, I've got nuclear batteries. Uh, we are slowly charging them up. That's why I've got no um, power left in there. But uh, once that one's charged up, which is not far off, I can get another one. Uh, I've got one in there to safeguard everything in the um, <coughs> airlock. Now, how do we go in here? Oh, another filter might not hurt too. Uh, you. Oh, look at that. All the CO2 is gone. Well, almost. I'll probably put that back to 10 megapascals now. That is, uh, well, as soon as it disappears, 10.5, we're down to less than 1%, and that will all leak out. We'll only have nitrogen and oxygen remaining. Although if I suck that into the base while there is liquid CO2 in there, my condensation valve might pump this liquid CO2 into the plants. Is that going to be an issue? I mean, it will immediately just all vaporise and be into the pipe. So I guess I'll have to purge the pipe. Will it kill the plants? CO2 shouldn't. Liquid CO2. Oh, is that in the water? I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know if I can afford to kill any plants at the moment, so um, I might have to uh, be careful. Uh, no, I'm not going to put that away. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, yay, I get you. Uh, oxygen. Uh, filters. No, maybe oxygen first. Now, I can... Thank you. Do not put that little tank in the thing. Oh, you can have that one though. Ha ha ha! I won't have to worry about that too often. I still need the filters. Now this thing I have got to get going. So that one will be our volume pump. I can... I don't have any... Any more pins. Ah, uh, I could... Get another chip, I could batch it out. Uh, did we get... Was there a chip where we can write directly to... Waste tank caution. Ah, uh, things... Uh, things in the doohickey. Um, that's not what I want. Uh, I want to... Uh, oh. No, uh, I need to say a load. There's a. I have vague recollections of there being another load command came out. Uh, load batch, load batch named. Device. That's the one I want. Loads device logic type to a register. Direct to an ID reference. So I think we can do that one directly to a device, even if it's not hooked to a pin. So LD. Right. I need to know the U. I need to know or seeds. I'll need to know the device uh, ID of that, so I'll need to make a um, a uh, thing to read it. A um, what do you call them? A uh, a reader thingy. Oh, shut up! <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Uh, right, let's. That's enough gardening for today. I've got some corn seeds now, so if I kill them all, I can still make more corn. Oh, and tomato seeds. You're a dumb one. I don't know if I want your seeds. You're slow. Uh, I'll keep those ones. And you. Back to 43. 
think of that. What am I doing for water? We still got water, we're good. Uh, so I'll need a configuration tablet for uh, read what that one is. What do I need to do? I need to... I need to dump my waste tank. Right. And grab some filters. Uh, carbon dioxide. Let's grab a better one. Silver and Constantine. Uh, got plenty of them. Oh, I don't have any silver. I've gone through a heap of silver there, but I've never actually made any silver that is just like silver. Uh, so give me some of that. I've got silver, silver. Yeet. And bada bing. There we go. I shall grab a few of them. Maybe a nitrogen one too, if I'm going to be in nitrogen space an awful lot. Maybe go to there. You other one. Go to there. How are you going? You don't need any more fire rocks. We're good. Uh, you. Grab you. Grab you. Um, maybe. Uh, nitrogen. Grab one of them too. You can be. Oh, I don't have any storms to get rid of them, do I? Oh, I'll have to build up any. Yeah, I'll probably have to send that through the recycler as well. I might get a recycler. Maybe dump it in the middle of the room somewhere. Uh, but you can switch off now. Stop chewing up my battery. You're all good. Oh, I've run out of poop. Might need to plant some more. Well, I've still got plenty of big, big pile of poop in there. So that's not too much needed. Configuration. That's what we're after. Uh, configuration, uh, gold, copper, iron, Link. I want a tablet, Oop. I had some solder, right, now I need, paint you yellow, you got to be yellow. Uh, I don't have any small batteries. I don't there has to be a small battery in there. Uh, you're probably deserving of a bigger battery there. My friend the drill. You can have a new one. And you can have a bigger one too. There we go. And everyone was happy. Now we go to... Almost get all the poop sucked into the airlock when I open it. Now you have a reference ID. Oh, do I need a dollar sign on it? Uh, 6BF2. Uh... I'm totally not going to have to write that down to remember it. Uh, uh, 6 uh, B F 2 With maybe or maybe not a dollar sign in front of it. Yeah, we'll see. Now I should be able to use that to save the settings to it without having to have it on a pin and without having to use a batch command. I think. Occasionally I do. Um, so I shall need to uh, define the uh, pump to uh, dollar was it six six BF two 
six of BF two. Well, it's got a turn blue, so maybe it does know about that. Okay. So now, if this works, it may not, but we'll find out. Uh, so, we need to know... We're doing a temperature. Right, so we're getting rid of the temperature one. So we're not going to use the cooler for temperature anymore. We're going to use a pump to cool it down. We're just playing, bringing in the oxygen. Uh, so I might just uh, take you out of that one. I will come back to you, but uh, let's just get rid of you for the time being. Now, code goes all the way through, so we can just keep adding things to the bottom of it. Uh, so, I shall load into R0 from the sensor the uh, temperature. And I'll set up a P controller for it, because then things don't just switch on and off all the time. Which probably doesn't really matter, giving everything else in the room is switching on and off all the time. Uh, so let's, while I'm focusing, let's switch that back to 10 megapascals now, because it's all working. Now, I need to load the temperature, and I shall, we want it to come on when the temperature is high. So if we subtract... R0 equals the, the current temperature minus our set point of 298, uh, which is 25 degrees Celsius. So when R0 is high, that'll give a positive result. Yeah. Uh, Got a high pressure in the pipe there, so maybe we shall divide that by 10. See how we go. And save device. Uh, can I use an alias? Oh, hang on. ID. I need the ID there. Um, okay. ID? No. Uh, let's just call it pump, shall we? Uh, we'll find out. If it doesn't like it, it won't like it. The uh, setting R0. Okay. Um, we shall yoink you while everything's switched off. Right. Export you. Oh, shit, it works. I mean, yeah, it works. And you've gone back to zero. Whoa, that's not bad for a first attempt. I had no idea how that worked. And I got it right. Damn. Um... That's cool. Uh, you can have one of them while we're waiting. Ah, uh, right. Oxygen low. Now, of course, that's uh, going to cool the room down, so that we're not going to be able to test it now, am I? Well done. Uh, do I have some flares? I do not. Um, what are you doing there being the wrong colour? Whoops. Careful bumping things. Uh, so you're not going to switch on until you're needed. Maybe if I lower the temperature just to test it. Uh, let's put you down to uh, 296 perhaps. And so if I export you out, you have shot up to 0.163. Switch that on. 
As the temperature in here drops, that goes down. Excellent. Right, so you're working. I can put you back to where you're supposed to be. 298, and it's not going to be overpoweringly fast, so... Right, now that will blow uh, stuff in here, but that is just oxygen and nitrogen, so we'll eventually displace all the carbon dioxide in here. So I need to use our, our other vent, which is our, called our cool vent, uh, but I shall use that to suck in carbon dioxide just from the Martian atmosphere. So that was called cool event, it is not. Uh, we shall say, I'll bring you back. Uh, that is our CO2 intake, uh, which we shall copy paste into there. Now we don't want to know the temperature in there. I want to know the uh, ratio of carbon dioxide. Uh, and so we shall set, we want it to come on when it's low. So we set a less than when the ratio in the room is less than uh, 0.02%. Now we'll give it 5%. Why not? Switch the vent on. When it's greater than 5%, switch it off. Uh, now we've probably got more than... We've got slightly more than 5% in here at the moment. Uh, so... That's not going to come on. If we've done it right. So let's export you into there. And you successfully not come on. Excellent. Well done. Uh, right. So exhaust vent's still working. That job. Switch that on. It's currently set to zero, so it'll be off. But uh, as it warms up, that should come on and start sucking gas out of there, which is the oxygen and nitrogen which should make this breathable, because we're currently very high on CO2, so it's, the oxygen in here is a bit low, it's not that breathable. And, um, yeah, that should turn it into a breathable room. Oxygen, nitrogen mix with 5% CO2 by the time that vent does the thing. Uh, you can grab seeds whenever you're ready, no pressure. You've got some seeds. Although you're a bit slow, I don't know if I want them. Yeah, I'll keep them. Ah, uh, now, do you have anything worth eating? Yeah, not much. I'm getting hungry, though. Ah, uh, no, let's try opening that and drinking. Oxygen low. Ah, uh, now I can probably chuck some more ice in there now, can't I? Yeah. Oh. oh, damn, still thirsty. Right, you can have that. I've got oxygen. Plants are checked. Have I got any bloody soy yet? Soybean seeds! Yay! I'll keep you. And I'll replant the soybeans. Oop, nope. So I shall poop you too, and uh, you're ready to pick corn seeds. Oh, and uh, yep. We're getting seeds. We're getting food. We're pooping in pots and we're planting soy. Okay. That, I've probably got potatoes here too, have I? Yeah. Oh, full rack of them. Nice. I'll pick them later. Ah, uh, so we're good. The sun is coming up. 
you have switched off while it's still cold outside. Close my visor. Our greenhouse is going nicely. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got liquid in that tank, haven't I? I don't want to be blowing that in here while I've got liquid in that tank. So, uh, okay. Before I start poisoning my plants, maybe, just maybe, we want to check for that before we switch it on. Okay, I already have the tank. So before we switch on the pump, uh, we shall have to say, uh, load into R0 from the tank, the uh, ratio, oops, capital R, ratio uh, liquid carbon dioxide. I uh, shall load into R1 from the tank, the ratio of uh, liquid pollutant, P -p -p pollutant, nice, P -p -pol yeah. we'll get there eventually, right, so if there's any liquid CO2, there shouldn't be any other liquids in there, because there's only nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and pollutant, no, the oxygen and the nitrogen won't liquefy. So if it's either of them there, all I want to know is which one is the maximum. Doesn't matter which one. I'll combine them into R zero, and we shall set a greater than zero. R zero is greater than zero. No, we shall say set. We want to come on when it equals zero. So set. Uh, equal to zero so if there's no no liquid in there we can uh, save the device to the pump on uh, zero um, yoink export Okay, so that is switched off, so we must have liquid in the in the pipe. And we do. That's the world. Yeah, it's liquid CO2 in there. Once that all disappears, once that all disappears, any second now, that's switched on. Ha ha ha! Okay. So that thing will switch off if there's any liquid in there, so I won't accidentally pump any liquids out of that tank into here. And when the room gets too hot, uh, that will turn up the speed of the pump and cool the room down, because we should be pretty cold in there now. Uh, it's minus 12.8 degrees. 12.6. can't see my arms too long. Uh, and I'm old and going blind. Right, so that should keep our greenhouse in here pretty handy. So we should see the CO2 start to drop, the pollutant should start to drop, because uh, we won't be sucking it in from outside. Let's say we only get 5% coming in from outside, so we'll have uh, whatever it is in the world. Oh, it's only half a percent in the world. So I'll have half a percent of um, 5%, so... Not much pollute, which will be way below the threshold of what we can actually handle. Uh, our growth is, look, 130%. That's pretty damn efficient. The soybeans don't like it. Yeah. What would you know about gardening soybeans? Potatoes are happy. Okay, we have our backpack. We have our oxygen set up. Um, okay, you're done, right? <laughs> so much for our oxygen setup. Uh, yeah, you're gone. Um, you're gone. Get out of there. So I can replace that with an atmospherics device now. 
and um, just suck the oxygen out of the room. So my oxygen low will be even oxygen lower. I'll need some filters, a atmospherics device, probably some more pipes. I got some pipes, didn't I? I did. I did tour putty tat. Uh, atmospherics device. I did. I did print one out. There we go. Um, I want uh, oxygen. Uh, grab a couple of them. If I had some iron, that's steel. I do happen to have some iron. Uh, and that should be all we need. Awesome. And still nothing out there. Right, we're getting close to having this, this thing finished. Uh, oop, 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 oop. Our power's still not great. Um, so, boop you off too. Uh, and I need another nuclear battery, don't I? Because I've just used one, I'll need a spare one. That'll really destroy me power. Uh, so, give me another nuclear battery. Uh, steel astraloy. Uh, where'd your steel go? You just go in there. Nope. Uh, nope. I do have steel. Uh, there we go. Make me one of them. Right. You switch off again. Oh, okay. What was I doing? I was making a thingy me jigger in the what you call it. So I should be able to fit that into that same space there. I need you. And some cables. Screwdriver, I think. Here we go. Now I could automate this. Uh, probably not just yet. Now you will want power, which I can get from you there. There. And you, if I had the right tools you we're good now oxygen oxygen um i think i got a pipe just here i think i got cables yes cables there oh, i might have to make a messy job of it Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. You. 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 And you. Right, so you're now connected into the room. Uh, ventilation. I should be able to just switch you on and we start getting oxygen which of course has been sucked straight out of the room there so um if I didn't have an oxygen low before I will pretty soon yeah all right I can drop some oxygen rocks you switched on very low at the moment but um that may or maybe not be good enough we'll find out Right, oxygen sorted. Um, that thing is sorted. It should have clean, should be having the clean gas in there now. Yeah, see? That is, well, basically 32% uh, oxygen. 
That is quite breathable there, straight from the Martian atmosphere. It is being brought in here to cool the room because it is well, minus 12 degrees. That will get colder uh, the more we do it because that has just been heated up because of all the, the uh, liquid CO2 condensing in there and liberating its latent heat. Um, so now that it's just about full, we should be sucking more and more at night. It's cold, it will cool it down. So that will be doing our cooling. So our intake vent up there is bringing in CO2 when we need it. Yeah, there'll be a little bit of pollutant there, but not enough to worry about. Uh, other than that, we're good. Uh, I need to be gardening. Ah, there we go. Another rack of seeds there. I can poop in another light set of pots. Does that mean that was a grow light? Uh, so I can put the seeds, save them for later. Grab a pile of poop. Put in a row of corn. And I can eat the rest. Excellent. Uh, right, so now that is sucking in gas outside, which is uh, world. How's that inside? There you go. So it's getting colder. Minus 15.6. Um, I might have to go outside and have a look at that. Oh, get a bit of snow from the water as we go out there. Uh, yoink. Now, yeah, so it's minus 42 degrees outside, so as it sucks into there, it's going to get colder and colder, and that will be enough to cool our base and provide us with some breathing gas. Excellent, that is working quite nicely. Whee! Uh, right, so that's about all we got time for. I've got a backpack. We've got, ooh, battery. Uh, I'd probably better give you a fire rock to keep you happy. I haven't got a fire rock. Oh, there we go. Very good. Uh... There we go. Uh, right, so, um, what was I saying? Uh, we set up our, our, our um, thingy in the do's it. Uh, but yeah, we're looking good. So this base is just about done now. So, um, it's, oh, no, I need to put up a recycler so I can get rid of some of the crap I've got. Maybe some of this crap too. Well, I've tidied most of it up there. We're down to one box of crap. The storm's not going to take care of it for me, so I'm going to have to actually do something about it. Uh, but that's about all we've got time for today, so until next time, happy building. See ya.